Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay and welcome to the ultimate bucket list destination, Elephant Hills in Thailand. Now, day one of the adventure begins on the day you arrive. So first things first, it's time to check out where you'll be sleeping. Hey, morning guys and welcome to another epic adventure. It's Jay where today I'm at Elephant Hills. So I landed into Phuket Airport from Bangkok earlier this morning and then took a two and a half hour drive up into the hills to come here to Khao Sok National Park where you get to stay in these pretty incredible luxury tents. And then of course the best bit, you get to see the elephants, you get to wash the elephants, you go trekking into the mountains, you go kayaking down the lake and it looks absolutely incredible. So these next next three days are going to be out of this world and I can't wait. And after a quick chance to cool off, lunch is announced by a giant gong. And then is the first part of the adventure, a chilled out paddle down the river in a canoe. Now, you really do get to see some incredible landscapes, and not to mention the animals, from monkeys to snakes, and the local community who call this place home. After that, for me, the highlight of the trip, the elephant encounter. Here you'll find no elephant riding whatsoever, but instead, in my opinion, one of the most immersive experiences I've ever had. A chance to get up close to these magnificent Asian elephants once used in the Thailand logging industry. Watch them bathe in this giant mud pool and then join them for a coconut scrub on a personal level. Then the best bit, well, feeding time. A chance to chop up a mix of fresh pineapple and banana. So it's the end of day one at Elephant Hills after an incredible day. So magical with those elephants. It's at six o'clock, the sun is setting off the top of the National Park and it's the most incredible view right now. After arriving back in camp, our guide Kong set up the plan for the next day and then it's a chance to take in that fantastic array of cooked food. The next day, well, that involved a trip to the local town's market, a chance to pick up some fresh fruit and veg before heading on to Chao Lan Lake.
So that incredible site is the Ratchaprapa Dam that was built in 1982. It's now a hydroelectric dam. It's 100 metres deep and down there right now, a bit like the reservoir in Wales, are houses, schools, temples, shops. In fact, 15 villages were flooded to make way for this reservoir. And right now, this is a national park. So around us, there's 200 wild elephants, there's monkeys, there's gibbons, uh, there's bears, you name it. This place is just amazing. After a chance to go sightseeing right across the lake, it's a short ride in the wagon to the edge of the lake and port to catch a long tail boat across the water and arrive at the luxury floating camp. Now, as the name suggests, the camp itself isn't connected to land uh, or the national park due to the rare animals and the wild animals that are often found right around the area. But instead, you're more than welcome to hop on the back of a yellow kayak and get exploring. And it's definitely worth mentioning the guides who are with you every step of the way. Our young apprentice called Ice and also our main guide Kong were just incredible and made us laugh every single day. Morning guys, so it's day three, it's another glorious day. It's just gone uh, nine o'clock and we're off trekking into the rainforest. Well, after two amazing days at Elephant Hills, day three was a two hour trek into the rainforest. A chance to check out the incredible sights and sounds, everything from bats to ants and even some pretty big spiders along the way with a river crossing thrown in. But of course, then it was back to camp for a chance to chill out in the pool, pack the case, and then just reminisce on some pretty incredible memories. So guys, my time at Elephant Hills has come to an end. It's been an incredible few days. If you like this video, hit thumbs up and subscribe, but it's on to the next adventure.